and games over in Pommyland get a load of this. Man finds his own grave at cemetery after ex-wife put it there. A man was shocked to find his own grave at a cemetery despite being very much alive. Alan Hattel, 75, a retired welder from Forfar Tayside in Scotland said, I was worried by the fact nobody had followed me in three or four months and couldn't work out why. Now it makes sense. People think I've passed on. As you can hear and see, I haven't. I'm still very much alive. I realised something wasn't quite right because my social life has been deathly quiet for the past three or four months. I think it must have been my ex-wife that ordered the gravestone there. I'm still not 100% certain though. I don't even want to be buried. I plan to be cremated. The headstone was erected at Newmont Hill Cemetery in Forfar, Scotland. Alan continues, it was all done without my knowledge. The whole thing was like something out of only fools and horses. Alan has now spoken to Angus Council officials and they plan to put a cover over the headstone which bears his name. Alan, who spent 37 years as a welder before retiring and has two grown up children with his former spouse, went on to say, my ex-wife bought the plot of land and put up the headstone with the intention of us being buried together. We've been separated for 26 years and there's no animosity but I'm struggling to take it all in. Both our names appear on the headstone. I've never ever said I wanted to be buried alongside my ex-wife. Meanwhile, Angus Council said it was unable to discuss the issue or disclose any information about who purchased the plot. Well, personally, I'd say that was a grave mistake.